Hi, I'm Justin Thames, Director of Governmental Affairs for the Florida Institute of CPAs, and welcome to this week's edition of Impact Report, your weekly update on all things impacting the CPA profession in Tallahassee. So we're just finishing up week four of the legislative session here in Tallahassee, and if you've been following along, we've been giving you some updates on some of the bills we've been tracking. This week has been moving week. If, uh, if you tuned in on uh, Monday, I told you that this is a, a big week for bills to either move or die in the process. So we've seen a lot of legislation start to move along, uh, particularly some things that we've been following. We saw the, the blockchain bill start to move over in the House. We also saw uh, financial literacy started to move over in the House side. Remember I told you that uh, the, the House bill for the financial literacy requiring high school students to uh, take some form of financial literacy before graduating. That bill finally got its first hearing on the House side and looks uh, now that it has been amended uh, to be able to move faster through the process and, and hopefully this will finally become law. So we're glad to report on that. Uh, also some good news is the language that we've been talking to you about, about local governments and the auditor selection committees. The, the House companion to the Senate bill has been amended. Uh, if you remember, Senator Hooper on the Senate side had his bill uh, related to local government transparency, and uh, his counterpart on the House side, Re uh, Representative Fisher, has amended his uh, bill to include the language that we provided that uh, dealt with the auditor selection process, also the makeup of the auditor selection committee. All those bills are down below in our bill tracker if you want to get more information there. Also, to kind of keep you updated, uh, as we go along, as I've said, uh, the sales tax on services bill still has not gotten a hearing in committee, so we are monitoring that very closely. We want to make sure we keep you updated on that. Uh, as I keep mentioning off and on is that if you know any state representative or state lawmaker, please sign up for our key person contacts. Uh, we need to make sure we have a great grassroots network ready to go in the event that there's some bad uh, legislative language that we have to deal with. That's the quick wrap up of this past week. More and more bills are going to start to move next week. So uh, tune in next Friday. We'll keep you abreast of all the bills that we are tracking, our legislative tracker, and some that we're not. So thank you for following along every week. We appreciate your support. And as always, if you have any questions about any of these bills or anything at all, you can email us at govaffairs at ficpa.org. Thanks so much and have a great weekend.